Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Walmart here, notice they have their macaroni salad back. We got a lot of comments on this over the last oh, month or so. We haven't had it at ours either. I don't, price is still the same, $4.27. They used to be $3.98. Big ones used to be $4.98. Good to see it's coming back in. They also got the potato salad. Get a lot of good comments on these. Onions continue to be ridiculously overpriced. $1.38 a piece, not a pound. $1.38 each. That is crazy. Looks like watermelons went up again here at Walmart. They were $6.98, now $7.97. They are going out of season though, so we're expecting they're gonna just keep going up in price till they get rid of them for the year. But yeah, $7.97 here at Walmart just seems a bit much. They still have their rollback offer on the Fife's Gold Pineapples here, $2.08, down from $2.38. $2.38 is a pretty high price. It, it was $2.18 and gone up to $2.38. I guess before they even put it on sale, $2.08. Now we've been finding pineapples on sale pretty much everywhere, uh, right around $1.99 for some of them. So I don't know, still an okay deal. Lemons here for 58 cents a piece isn't really too bad. I've been seeing lemons anywhere from 78 cents to 98 cents a piece. For whatever reasons, lemons have gotten really expensive. They have this on display here, five pound bag of red delicious apples, $5.52. Uh, yeah, it's an okay deal, I guess. Um, $2.99 for a three pound bag at Aldi. So if you were to get two of those, it would be right at $5.98 for six pounds. Some of these berry prices at Walmart are just crazy for Walmart prices. Look at these blueberries here. I mean, this is, looks like 18 ounces. Yeah, 18 ounces, $6.84. You gotta be kidding me. Um, and here's the raspberries, $2.57. We've been finding these on sale. Kroger has them for $1.50 this week. Uh, it is December 1st, 2023. Just for point of reference there, they got the uh, 12 ounce pack, which is double the six ounce pack, obviously. $4.94, so you're really not saving much by buying a bigger portion. They have the Good Farms strawberries here. $4.12, guys. $4.12. They don't even look that good. They have red grapes here for $2.38 a pound. That's pretty much the same as it is everywhere. For whatever reason, green grapes are a little cheaper, though. $2.18 a pound. That's actually pretty good. These were $2.48 a pound not too long ago and they've come down some got a lot of good comments on these rocket little teeny tiny apples here they are ten dollars and 37 cents though now here at walmart for three pounds i feel like that's a bit much but we get a lot of good comments on them uh they have the pears here these look really good dollar 73 a pound that's not too terrible four pounds here 582 uh, if you get them in the bag here, you get a four pound bag. And then they have the Bartlett pears here on a rollback, 428 for three pounds. It was 578, so good to see something come down. Now we've been seeing Honeycrisp apples uh, cheap pretty much everywhere. We saw them at Meyer for 99 cents a pound. Uh, let's see, this is a rollback offer, $5.46 for three pound bag. It says it was $9.32. That is what it was. Wow, so that's a significant price difference here. So if you like the Walmart brand Honeycrisp apples, now's the time. And not much of a rollback offer on the Gala apples here. Three pound bags for $3.46. That is down from $3.54. I can see why they didn't want to put that on the right up here because it's only an eight cent savings. However, they do have the three pound bags at Granny Smith. $3.96. Keep getting comments on mandarins and how expensive they're getting. They really are. Now we saw a three pound bag at Kroger for on sale for $3.99, but that sale's only good for a week. $6.98 here for five pounds at Walmart, which is about the same price as it is everywhere, but they, it says that it was $7.98. I don't know, hopefully it don't go back up to that. But it probably will, so I don't know. You find a sale on them, I'd buy up a couple. Okay, so I wanted to double check here, and sure enough, it is one each, $1.38. I wanted to check the main area here because I thought maybe that was wrong. 
$1.38 for one onion. One. That's crazy. Here we have a three pound of the sweet onions here. $3.98 makes it $1.33 a pound. So, I, you know, I, I don't know, guys. Over here they have that little section I was talking about, about Sara Lee bread. But I wanted to point out the Sunbeam. Sunbeam went up here. It's $2.28. 228 now 242 here they have a ton of great value bread dollar 32 for the white bread dollar 32 for the wheat dollar 88 now for the whole wheat and i believe the honey wheat is a dollar 78 yes it is and i gotta say they have added more butternut bread here and it's cheaper than it is at kroger 329 for this at kroger 250 here Okay, so I came over here to check to see if I could find any of the Screamin' Sicilian Pizzas. We got a comment from a longtime viewer saying you haven't been able to find them. They do have them here at Walmart, although they are up. These used to be $6.98 here, now $7.26. Now, it's been a while since I've checked. I wanted to point this one out here for you. It has gone up uh, almost $0.30, cents, $0.28. Cents. It's crazy. They do have them in. I do have to say, like, are these smaller than they used to be too. They look like a smaller box. Another one of our viewers was asking if I could check to see if Walmart had the meatballs. They're great value meatballs. They do. They have the Italian style here. Both of these are $6.96. Family size, $9.96. These used to be $5.98. I will say we've gotten these meatballs before. They are pretty good. I know a lot of these things have been going up here at Walmart too with different teas and stuff, but they've been going up everywhere. We always get comments on Bigelow Tea. Uh, 334 here is the cheapest regular price that I've seen in a while. 429 regular price at Kroger. 359 regular price at Meyer. So, you know, they don't really have the selection either that Kroger or Meyers has. This is all the Bigelow Tea they have here. I do notice Celestial Tea went up at Walmart finally. They were 298. After just being 278, now 312. We saw them go up to 329 at Kroger. They do have some of the Bigelow green tea down here I missed. I'm not going to go over all of the coffees here. They are the same price as when we were here last time. I kind of went over all the great value that was 1598 before though is now 1647 of the Keurig pods here. And some of these prices are Okay, I mean like the Duncan here, original seven ninety eight. We've been seeing this go up to eight ninety nine to nine forty nine, pretty much everywhere else. So still, an okay deal. Used to be seven forty eight, but that's been a while. They have the Black Rifle Coffee Company here, eight dollars and ninety seven cents. You get twelve pods here, eight ninety seven. It's a little pricey, but I know some people on the channel that like that one. Just wanted to point it out. Uh, and then they have some of the, uh, let's see. Yeah, 60 count for $30 of the original donut shop. We've been seeing these go up in price. Um, I saw it at Costco the other day. It was $10 off, but it was over $46 for 100 of them. I was like, wow, but $36 on sale. So if you go to Costco, keep that in mind. Okay, so over the last couple few weeks, we've gotten a few comments on people not being able to find the great value peanut butter. They do have the big containers of it here. I think this is 64 ounces. Yes, it is. Four pounds, $5.98. Now, they all, I'm, I am only seeing two of the smaller crunchy ones and then one creamy down here for $1.84. So, it is a lot lower than normal. Never really spreading out the Peter Pan here. I don't know. Um, still don't see Skippy. I don't think Walmart sells Skippy anymore. We never see it here. I noticed the choice ribeyes went up another dollar. Not too surprising. These were $13.97 before per pound. Now $14.97 per pound. And then the strip here went up from $11.98 per pound to $12.47 per pound. So everything just keeps going up in price. So especially when it comes to meat products. Uh, $15.97 a pound. This says premium on it. I, I don't know. It's like you look at this premium and then you look at a premium anywhere else and anywhere else always seems to look better. Well, I don't know. That one don't look too bad. That one don't look bad. $15.97 a pound. Um, that's pretty much the price, going price for uh, premium, prime. Uh, it's premium. I don't know. Some of them call it prime. The best steak available, but I don't know. $15.97 a pound. I'd rather get it uh, somewhere else, to be honest with you. They got the roast here, $7.97 a pound. That's the highest it's ever been here at Walmart. 
I guess I got one over here, 767 a pound. We continue to see hamburger go up everywhere. This is the 8020 right here, $35.84. Remember, last spring, these now they were up to like 31 something. We saw them come down to 2972, I think it was. Um, we knew it was gonna come back up. It did, it went up to like 32 something, and now 3584. So meat prices continue to go up. So whenever you find a sale, if you have some extra freezer space. I recommend buying it. Pork prices as well are going up. Now I will say the pork prices have been the same here. Some of the numbers we're seeing here, like the center cut chops here, 447 per pound. I mean, that's higher than anywhere. I mean, some places maybe not, but we only get these when they're on sales. Why well, we always talk about buying up the sales as you see them, so you don't pay price prices like this. They do have the thin cut ones here for 497 a pound. Uh, and this, I guess, would be considered a family pack, maybe, because the smaller packs are $5.17 a pound right here of the thin cut. And, you know, you do have to look for some of the different savings here. I mean, this for $5.88, down from $7. This $5.83, down from $6.94. Always look for the sales, but I would check the, check the dates on them, too. Like, freshness date, use or freeze before 12-1-2023. Well, today is December 1st. 2023 so if you bought this today you better cook it or freeze it and then when you thaw it you better cook it that day that's so how i saw this on this end cap here i just can't believe it 16 ounce jar of jiff peanut butter at walmart three dollars and 12 cents i'll tell you what though if you're looking for the keystone meat products this is the place to get them guys the small ones of the chicken here four dollars and 46 cents those are over six dollars 6.29 i believe at kroger now Bigger cans of chicken, $7.92. And here's one we don't find in a lot of stores. The turkey here, $8.82 for that, $8.82 for the pork. So this one went up from $7.92. It was the same price as the chicken. As a matter of fact, I would take a picture of this, make sure that they give it to you for that price. And then the beef here, $8.98. This is $10.99 at Kroger now. Again, if you try to order these online uh, through Keystone, you know, you might get a little bit of a better price, not much of a price break, but shipping cost is pretty expensive. So, I don't know, maybe try and order it through Walmart. They do have the small cans of the beef here for $5.87. That's the better deal. Kind of just throwing everything together here in this aisle right here. Look at this, Amy's Chili here, $3.98. Well, okay, no, the chili at Kroger's $3.99 as well. The chili's a little more. Um, and when I said before, the, uh, the big can is the best deal, not the small can. So if you're looking to throw some things into your pantry here and just forget about it, save for a rainy day, they do have a lot of other different products here. They have the Great Value Roast Beef. We've gotten mixed reviews on this. Um, I've tried it. I thought it was just fine. 374 here for 12 ounces. Now Spam, okay, Spam went up here. $3.58. This was $2.98 here at Walmart Forever. I was curious when we were seeing those two for $6 packs. I thought maybe Walmart was still $2.98, but it is not. Went up to $3.58. Not too surprising here. It's been going up everywhere. So find a sale on it. You might want to get some. Uh, and the different Tyson chicken here, $7. $6.98 for a two pack. $3.98 for one of the 12.5 ounce cans. Got some manwich. Bigger cans of manwich for $2.62, but these used to be $1.98 here at Walmart. A lot of comments on sardines lately, probably because I've been pointing them out. <laughs> uh, it's good, good price on the Beach Cliff sardines here, 98 cents. 98 cents, that's pretty good. They got the uh, different season brand here, different prices, 212, 218, 232, depending on which one you get. And then they have the different chicken of the sea packs, uh, $1.52 for these. Some of these great value ones now, $1.42 a pack. Wow, that's just crazy how high these things are getting in price uh some other two here let's look for the cheaper ones 446 for the four pack of the chicken of the sea uh let's see dollar 17 now for the regular size can of sun or star kiss <laughs> not sun kiss star kiss can tuna dollar 17 wow that went up too and their tuna creations are a dollar 42 a pack no we've been seeing them go up everywhere uh, $1.69 is the highest I've seen at Kroger unless they have them on sale. And here's some of the great value versions of these, which are still $0.96. Cents. These are up from $0.92, cents, though. It's been a little while, but 
another increase. They still have the great value chicken broth if you can find it. I know it sells out pretty quickly, but it is a dollar, one dollar. Uh, and the soups, this is interesting. The soups here of Amy's, which they don't have many. It's funny that the Pacific Foods is only two ninety eight for these. Uh, I found those at Ollie's for a dollar seventy two a can. Um, but the Amy soups three sixty eight. That is up from three forty eight. Looks like the great value uh, soups, different ten point five out ten point five ounce cans have gone up as well. These keep going up. I know they these used to be like sixty eight cents, and then we've seen them go up like two or three times over the last year. Last I saw, they were eighty eight cents a can. Now ninety two cents a can. I don't know. Everything just keeps going up, guys. I know I sound like a broken record, but I like to point these out so that when you find some of these things that you like, you know when you're getting a good deal and when you're not. All of the 12 packs of ramen noodles have come down, and it looks like it's going to be the regular price now, which is good. $3.28. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Aldi follow this. They seem to follow each other. Uh, I know when they went up to $3.68 here, Aldi the very next day went up to $3.68. So we'll have to see on that, but... 328 for these they were 368 um 52 cents now for the cups these used to be 48 cents a piece got a comment from one of our longtime viewers that you haven't been able to find any goya beans at dollar tree well walmart is another option however you're gonna pay an extra quarter more for the ones the same ones that you would get at dollar tree like the red beans here dollar 25 obviously dollar tree now we've been hearing rumors that dollar tree may be going up to a dollar 50 i don't know i don't know i don't think that's a good idea for them um but a dollar 42 here at walmart for the red beans and then the black beans which i don't even see here these are the organic uh these ones right here i don't know yeah that's the low sodium so that's a few cents higher but the organic ones are going to be more expensive they don't sell those at dollar tree uh they got the red kidney beans here same price as dollar 42 if they had the black beans here they're a dollar 42 as well um but yeah all of those are the ones they sell at and the chickpeas garbanzo beans dollar 42 but all of those are the ones that they sell at dollar tree for a dollar 25 so you can check walmart but you're gonna pay a little more for them well they took the price down on the four pound bags of sugar so i don't know what it is i know it was 328 we keep seeing store brand sugars go up in price the 10 pound did go up again uh i mean it's been 768 for a couple weeks but we saw it go from 728 to 768 within a week like, that was pretty crazy but i believe these are still 328 let me know if they're any different but yeah i noticed they did take the the sticker down they do have a decent amount of domino for what they do carry four dollars and 54 cents still want to make sure that was still the same price so domino went up a little while here on the 10 pound bags but i want to point something out here 877 it's 864 for a 10 pound bag at sam's club so you're only spending like 10 15 cents more to get it here at walmart we did go over the last time how much great value flour has gone up in price so before the last time it was 228 for a five pound bag 243 now dollar 16 for the two pound bag which is now a dollar 32 10 pound bag was 398 now 434 so they have all gone up in price so this is the first time i've seen great value salt here at walmart in a while um, they've been out of it and here they have a ton of Morton salt continue to get comments on salt shortages uh, And I know for a while, you know, we were completely out of salt all over. It's been months But as of recent, we'll find like Morton's in a store. No store brand. We'll find store brand. No Morton's So I don't know and Walmart does continue to spread out their spices to make it look like they have way more than what they really do This is all garlic powder right here, but I mean, you know, they are it does look better than it did right before Thanksgiving, but then again, it's Thanksgiving, so a lot of this was wiped out. I remember last year, about a year and a half ago, there was like no spices, so I try to keep an eye out on these things, especially around the holidays. Well, I found some honeysuckle turkeys here, still 98 cents a pound. That is great. Hopefully this rolls through, rolls back past uh, Christmas here, like how I worded that. <laughs> Hopefully it goes... Through Christmas, actually roll back wouldn't make much sense in that, I guess. But hey, they got them, 98 cents a pound. They are still out of Butterball. This is a whole different section. 
Um, but all of these are 98 cents a pound. These right here are the turkey breast. Those are 258 a pound. Um, but yeah, all I see is honeysuckle as far as turkeys go. But hey, you know, uh, still no butterball. But I've heard that Aldi still has their butterball turkeys for 98 cents a pound. So hopefully they're still that by the time I can get there here in a couple few days. But yeah, good to see they're still getting them in. Yeah, we got Sugardale hams here. 373 a pound. Yeah, okay. That's crazy. I, let's see, 228 a pound for these right here. Uh, this is Sugardale as well. This is the smoked ham, hickory smoked half ham. 228 a pound. I don't know if we'll see any good deals on ham here at Walmart. We're going to keep checking as we get closer to Christmas here, but I'll tell you. And this, I guess this, they say it came down in price. 228 a pound down from 254 a pound. Not really much of a savings. Okay, well, still cheaper than pretty much anywhere, um, but they've gone up in price, and not just a small. Thirty-four cents, guys. These were two dollars and fifty cents. Oscar, this was the place to buy Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Now two dollars and eighty-four cents. That is up thirty-four cents since the last time I checked, which wasn't long ago. I think it was the last time I was here. One thing I will say: if you like great value cheese, this has been this price for well over a year, about a year and a half, maybe longer. 222 for their sliced cheese it is still the same size eight ounces they do have the bigger ones here uh the 12 slices for 422 um let's see what is well that ain't right okay so maybe they don't have them <laughs> okay yeah 16 ounces so you're getting double for 422 when you find the pound packages but you know if you like these check the dates on them i have a feeling these are going to be going up here real soon with dairy products butter prices going up milk going up these are next speaking of butter though walmart does still have some okay prices on like tillamook 528 for this uh land of lakes 598 which did go up but it's going up everywhere 679 at kroger um 598 here and we know that the walmart butter great value butter went up to 398 um, you know, we saw it get down as low as 348, then back up to 358, which is what it was for a while. Now 398. So butter is definitely going up in price. Okay, guys. Well, eggs are skyrocketing again. Get ready. Uh, $1.90 now for 12 count eggs. This was $1.40 the last time I was here. 60 count eggs, $9.22. These were $6.64 uh, 10 days ago. So we are seeing where the uh, the bird thing going on is taking effect again. Nine dollars and twenty-two cents. These have gotten as low as five fifty-four. We saw it go up to six sixty-four. Stayed there forever. Nine dollars and twenty-two cents now within ten days. So get your eggs when you find a good price on them. Somebody was asking if I could check to see if I could find the Great Value Apple Cider Vinegar. Here it is, right here. Thirty-two ounces is two dollars and thirty-two cents. It's a very good price. They do have some other ones here, too. They've got the Great Value Organic here, $6.28 for that one. What's this one right here? White House. White House Organic Apple Cider Vinegar, $5.34. And then they've got the Bragg down here, the Organic, $6.84. They've got the big one of the uh, White House brand here for $11.12. Low on... Well, no, they got some down here, too. $3.74 for the distilled white vinegar. We've been seeing that go up everywhere. Someone was asking if I could check out some of the prices of the Great Value Instant Non-Fat to Dry Milk. Here they are. We've got the three packs of 3.2-ounce bags, pouches here, $3.43 for that. They've got the 25.6 ounces for $8.43, and then they have the one that a lot of people like. I don't know if it's the one you were asking about. $9.97. This is 10 of the 3.2 ounce packs and then they have the big four pound bag of it here $19.67 and then they have the instant dry whole milk here fortified with vitamins A and D two pounds 7.5 ounces $12.44 hey look at this I found the uh, great value avocado oil here haven't seen this one here in a while $9.54 uh, we, we used to get comments on this. I thought they quit selling it. 
I know you did too. A couple comments people didn't think they sold anymore, so might want to check your Walmart. Probably coming back in. They still sell the Chosen Foods one here, 25.4 ounces for that one, $13 and 42 cents. No sales on their canned vegetables at all. And we're noticing here, they're putting in these like big cans right here. Are they not getting as much as we're used to seeing? I don't know, usually this whole thing is full of just regular sized canned vegetables, but putting these in the way here, I don't know guys. They still have, oh look at this, is this Libby's or Del Monte? This is Del Monte, it's in the wrong place. Uh, they do have some Del Monte canned vegetables for a dollar a can. Sorry, I'm a little, it looks like they're, something's going on here. They don't have a lot. I don't know, they're moving other things in the way here. This used to all be Del Monte. I don't know what's going on. Huh, I don't know, I'll have to keep an eye on this. I did go over the last time we were here, their canned beans went from 78 cents a can to 82 cents a can. Beans are pretty much going up everywhere. Um, here's the Joan of Arc beans somebody was asking about. Looks like $1.16 for the smaller cans, 208 for the bigger ones. Uh, and then we have Van Camp, still 98 cents. Best place to buy them is here. We've seen them go up as high as $1.29 in some places. We quit buying these though, because I don't know, they just, they just don't taste the same anymore. We've been getting cans where the beans were really hard and you know, slow cooking them, everything, just could not get them to taste right. So we quit getting these. Um, let's see, looks like Bush's beans are still the same price. As far as pasta goes, guys, this is it. This is it. This is all they carry now. It has gotten so condensed. I, it's crazy. Look at this. This is the only great value they have. And most of it is just boxes and boxes of elbow macaroni, bow tie. Looks like, I don't know, maybe one thing is spaghetti back there. They do have some spaghetti. This is the two pound thing for $1.88. Here's some right here, 98 cents. Oh, they switched levels on me here. Used to be up here, now it's down here. So they got some, but. I don't know, they're just not getting, in it, not getting in as much as they used to. Well, as far as the rice options go at Walmart, we continue to see less and less. Um, the big bags, this Thai Mahali, Thai Hamali Jasmine Rice here, they got the small five pound bags for six eighty four, dollars But we saw where the 20 pound bags just went up to twenty twenty seven. I mean, that is crazy. That is up, it was fifteen ninety eight when they first started bringing these in. We saw it go up to sixteen ninety eight. dollars now twenty twenty seven. not that long ago. Maybe these dry beans are selling so fast, they're just bringing them out in the boxes now. Um, and yeah, they've been going up everywhere, going up in price. They still get one pound here for $1.38. Here's black beans, one pound, $1.48. I mean, and we even saw a Dollar Tree where theirs, they're still $1.25, obviously, but they've shrunk to 12 ounces. They're not one pound anymore, which really screws up a lot of recipes. Got the black eyed peas here, $1.66. $1.66 for those. Wowzers. Well, that is all the time I have for Walmart today. Massive price increases, guys. There's just seems like everything is going up again. Um, you know, I had a lot of things to check on with uh, a lot of people leaving requests for me to check items the next time I went to Walmart, some great value items and some other things. Usually what happens is if it goes away, we'll see it come back sometimes. Um, and it'll come back at a higher price. That is exactly what we've seen today. So chances are it will probably be coming back eventually at your Walmart, but I would expect a higher price. So knowing that, look for the sales in some of your other stores. Um, you know, or, you know, sometimes products come back in and it's the price is the same, but make sure you check the size because we see where sometimes, you know, they shrink in size. So we have to watch out for all of that. We have to pay attention to the eggs also. Eggs are starting to go up back up in price. What was $1.40 for a 12 count uh, 10 days ago is $1.90 now, and $9.92 for a 60 count eggs, which was $6.64 the last time we were here. So we gotta pay attention to all these things, guys. Continue to buy up the sales as you see them so that we're ultimately saving money in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.